The supreme duty of mankind, the creature, is to love God, their creator. And the Jewish people, created by God to be his church, in this had failed. Israel had not failed because of their inability in making laws. It was not that they lacked in education or industry. Israel's failure was not based on their refusal to go to the temple and honor their God. Israel, God's first church, was not willing to give up their idol for sustaining faith in God. Idolatry at its core is giving love, worship, and respect for anything more than God. The corrupt religious system in Israel had become so idolatrous, similar to what we are now seeing in the Christian church today, that we are fighting against God. But they had opportunity to build upon the chief cornerstone, but they chose their dead idols, and their dead idols would not protect them, nor hear them when they call. Instead of obeying God, their love-created objects had risen to such a height within their hearts that they would rather drown in their sin and be destroyed rather than repent, let go, and live. Idolatry places something before our total love and obedience to God. We face this every day, every decision we make. Will we allow our own personal, self-centered desires to become an idol? Because when desire is conceived, it allows sin to reign, where only God was meant to reign. This has always been the devil's scheme. He takes something good that God has created and tempts us with it by perverting it. He misrepresents it, he distorts it, and changes something. Satan does not invent anything. He twists it, and he misleads us with it. If we do not turn away from our idols, we are about to be destroyed. Jesus' last words to the church in Revelation chapter 2, Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do the first work. This was the state of the first church when God sent his son the first. He's preparing to send his son the second. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The righteous children of God who will not worship idols or any false thing that the wicked serpent tries to suggest. A new generation of believers who walk by faith and in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. And they tell the devil that he could keep his stinking idol. And this is only because of the grace of God. And they responded to and continue to respond to and obey his word, walking by faith in their great God. Our king is Jesus, and he cannot be defeated, and he will never suffer loss. He has won the victory for all the children of Adam's fallen race who trust in him by faith. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Amen. Amen.